Hi there. Some of you might already know that when brake fluid is mixed with granulated pool chlorine, that the calcium hypochlorite in the former breaks down the glycols in the latter, resulting in a, an exothermic reaction which causes the whole thing to burst into flames. The only problem is that it takes two minutes for this reaction to occur. And two minutes may not sound like very much time, but trust me, when you're waiting for something to spontaneously burst into flames, two minutes feels like a long time. So, as you can see, we're going to speed up this reaction by adding some activation energy in the form of thermal energy. Now, please don't repeat anything you see in this video, especially if you're not an adult, or at least not a responsible adult, because what I'm doing here is stupid and dangerous. Alright, it's been sitting there about five minutes. I think it's time to do this. Wow, I've given it a few minutes to cool down and look at that damage. That was ridiculous. You know, I've actually tried this before off camera and I was expecting it to start reacting right away. I thought it was even hotter than last time. And in fact, I'm sure it was hotter than last time. But uh, I guess, you know, that just goes to show that when you're doing something like this, you never know what's going to happen. That was uh, intense. Now, if you've watched this far, then I'd like to pay my respects to Grant Thompson from The King of Random, because not only was he a big inspiration for me to make my own videos, but if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't even know about this reaction in the first place and wouldn't have been able to get this idea. So, thank you. And that's all I have for you today, so thank you for watching, and have a nice day.